mastering lie detection using NLP and without eye accessing. Okay, first of all, what is eye accessing? It's the ability to read eye movements and know how someone is using their brain. So one of the reasons why some people take NLP training because they want to learn how someone uses their brain and what eye movements say about that. All right. I'll go in a second about how eye accessing could be used for lie detection, but I'll give you first the most effective way to use NLP. And that is actually using your intuition, your internal sense, your internal knowing. So when I took a lie detection course, not an NLP course, but with law enforcement, I learned a very important thing, and it relates more about human nature, human programming, habits, etc. So what we do when someone is lying to us, we often feel it inside our body. But rather than sort of tapping into that feeling, inside our bodies, we disconnect from it. And we either disconnect for it, from it because we start thinking, rationalizing, making things logical. And then when we rationalize making things logical, we either go, well, I shouldn't be so judgmental. Um, maybe this person is speaking the truth. Or we maybe even get angry because we are detecting a lie intuitively. Either way, that causes our vision to narrow, causes our ideas to narrow neurologically. So that doesn't, that doesn't really work here. So the thing is that people, in essence, start to remove further away from the intuition, maybe even sort of like talk themselves out of what they intuitively are sensing. The problem is, is that our logical or our self-talk, our thinking is loud and it speaks in words where our intuition speaks in an internal sense, an internal knowing, a gut feel, a gut reaction. It doesn't speak in full sentences. It doesn't like tell us what to do. It doesn't analyze. It can actually be almost like a little bit childish, more like a feeling, a sense. And, and the thing is, is that we need to really properly tap into, into, our, into our intuitive sense in order to then sort of like get that feeling, sense that feeling inside the body, sense that awareness inside the body, that unconscious awareness inside the body. And it's not until that is done that we can kind of go, okay, if I were to put that sense into words, what would my dialogue then be? But the problem is our logical mind is already overriding that in many cases. So when you get the first ping of inside, I think I'm being lied to, which is a feeling, not a thought, then you go sit in that feeling a little longer and you, and you keep the, you know, ignore the talk. You don't let yourself be taken on the train of the talk inside your head and what to do next, you actually temp inside the body. And then you wait for your body to communicate sort of like, okay, I am feeling, I am sensing this, so I am being lied to. Let's disconnect emotionally from this person for one second and tell myself that I need to gather information. Very simple. You only need to gather information, which is not equal to sign the contract, whip out your credit card, <laughs> take off your clothes, uh, whatever, don't do, no actions, just gathering information, observing, asking more questions, being curious, those types of things. And that, that allows you to, to sort of like detect the lie a lot better, to manage the lie a lot better, to, to stay with the sense that it is a lie rather than ignore it and saying, a day later, three weeks later, three months later, I knew it. I knew in the moment that that person was lying to me, but then I started to believe it anyway, which means the master persuader talked to our conscious mind. 
And with that, the unconscious mind got influenced to believe for it to be true. And there may be even an in intense need on the inside that you want to believe that is true. And you know what? One little thing, you probably heard it a million time be times before, when something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So that is a tip from an NLP trainer. If you want to know more about NLP and you want to maybe receive a free product that combines positive psychology and NLP in a guided visualization, not a meditation, a visualization, just visit globalnlptraining.com, send my team a message, an email, and we'd be more than happy to send that visualization to you. Um, and of course, you can also ask for the brochures and what we cover inside the trainings on Bali, Los Angeles, Amsterdam, and Mexico. See you around. And uh, if you have any more questions, you can email those to us there as well for the next video.